Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've watched my previous videos, you may have come across a video where I swatched Essay's Granny Dodoro palette. I love that palette so much that I returned to their site and purchased another palette. This time their 48 watercolour palette. The lovely Inga from SA gave me a generous discount and a discount code to share with all of you if you would like to purchase this same palette too. This code is limited to the first 20 who purchase the palette and can only be used once per customer. I'll add the discount code in the video description which can be used at their official SA website which I'll also link below. So now I'll go ahead and open the palette so that you can see it. I'll just put this to one side to make some room. And also, oh, dropping the box on the floor, sorry for the noise. Um, this is the paper that comes in it and gives all the information on what colours are in the palette and also their pigment numbers which is really helpful. I'll put that to one side. I'll open this. I have opened this because I needed to make my swatching template but I did reseal it so I can open it on camera for you as well. So just put that to one side as well. There we go. It comes with this 48 um, numbered swatch card and these handmade pieces of watercolour paper which is a lovely touch. Now, this is the palette and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I have been, oh, I've been so desperate to be <laughs> swatching these colours but I, I stopped myself because I wanted to swatch them um, on video for you. So I'm going to take the brush out which is included in the palette, just unroll it. It's a little travel brush, and it looks really nice. It's the right size for me. Just, it's a perfect little travel brush to, to have in your palette. I'll put that to one side as well. Inga also sent me this box which has inside it this little lovely, I, I think it's a little half pan, like a ceramic half pan. It's beautiful. I love the glazing in the middle. Another little swatch card. Some handmade watercolour paper and a potter's pink in here with maybe perhaps there's a watercolour brush rest in there it feels like that I haven't opened this I'll put this to one side as well so we can begin swatching because I am so impatient now I just want to start swatching <laughs> I'll put these in here and close this up. Okay, so because there are so many colors and I didn't want to rush doing the swatching, I wanted to take my time with each color and explore each color as I usually do in uh, Mastone and Diluted. I thought I'm gonna do three videos. So in each video, as there's 48 colors, I'll be swatching 16 of the colors. So I'm going to swatch these colors for you today, these first 16. I am going to unwrap them. I'll get my little swatching te template out so that I can begin swatching and I'll see you in a little bit. 
So I'm back, everything's unwrapped, and now I'm going to start swatching on my little template that I made in my Hannah Muller watercolour sketchbook. So I'm going to begin with our first colour, which is lemon yellow. The pigment number is PY3, and it looks beautiful on the palette see what it looks like on the page oh that is lovely that's lovely that's a beautiful lemon yellow that's lovely I'll dilute that it looks very milky It's a milky lemon yellow. Lovely. Very pretty. Okay, next we have cadmium yellow, which is PY37. Now, I do not use cadmiums. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a new experience for me but I'm always happy to experiment with colors that I haven't used before so let's see ah it's a warm yellow very pigmented I'd say opaque and bordering on Indian yellow yeah, I think so. Let's dilute it. Add a little bit more water. I'm trying not to dip my brush into my tea, which is right behind the water, which is not a good plan. I mean, I have lost several cups of tea probably in the last month because I've <laughs> dipped my brush into them. Okay, so that's cadmium yellow, PY37. Next, we have Naples Yellow Titan, which is PY53. It's just one pigment. There's quite a few Naples yellows. I think I said that correctly. Naples yellows out there that <laughs> are mixtures, but this is just a single pigment one. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think mixtures that I have used have included PBR24 in them, if I'm not mistaken. That is nice and opaque, as Naples yellows usually are. And diluted. Lovely. Maybe I put a tad too much water on that one. I'll just dry my brush a bit and add a little bit more so it can appear on the camera. And then we begin with the reds which our first red is Madder Lake Light, which is PR122. It looks like a warm red on the palette. I forgot to show you the palette after I unwrapped. I will show you after I've done the swatching. Yes. Oh, that's nice. I would say semi-opaque. Very nice. I love warm reds though, so I am biased. But this is a lovely, lovely warm red. Um, let's just 
as a little bit more there to do the diluted version oh oh that is lovely that is like a rose dore which i love but a single pigment rose dore so far we've only had um colors that have just single pigments in them so next we have crimson which is pr48 column four Let's see Ooh, cooler red, cooler to middle red, much cooler than our first one, the Madder Lake Light. I dilute that. Ah, yeah, very cool when you dilute it. Much, much cooler. Nice. And the next one is Carmine. Trying to get as much as I can onto my brush. Oh, it's cooler than the previous one. And darker. This is PR146. Again, single pigment. Dilute it. Yes, darker and even cooler than that. So like a warm red, a middle red and a cooler red. I wonder what the Madder Dark, but sorry, the Madder Lake Dark is like. Madder Lake Dark, which is this. Ah, uh, it's almost like an alizarin crimson colour. Duller in um, in a way than the other ones. Duller, darker. And dilute it. Yes, much less vibrant than the other ones. It's a nice assortment of hues for red. And the next one is Bordeaux, which is PV32. So it's our first violet colour. Yes, and um, very wine-like. So it's got an appropriate name. Very beautiful. It's a muted, warm violet. And dilute it. It almost has um, granulation in this. You can see the heavier pigments settling in 
to the, into the values of the paper. Very interesting. Very nice. Okay. So we have our first eight colors, the 16. I'm loving that. That is so beautiful. I love that. Okay, so I'll let this page um, dry a little bit so I can bring over my my palette so I can do the next page. And I will have a sneaky sip of tea as well. <laughs> See you in a bit. I admit that I had more than one sip of tea because the tea is so nice. Um, okay. So... <laughs> We are going to start swatching um, Violet Ultramarine, which is PB15. And I can't wait to see what this Ultramarine Violet looks like. Oh, I'm going to need a bit more colour if I'm going to do mass tone. And more. Lifting as much as I can. I think I might even add a bit more. Maybe my brush was too wet. Okay, that will do. Oh, oh, whoa, that is nice. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous violet ultramarine. Let's dilute that. It's very pretty and I'm seeing it granulate already as it should. But my circle is getting bigger and bigger because I'm trying to control its wonkiness. But that is beautiful. That's beautiful violet ultramarine. I'm sorry for the changing light. Uh, I try and use natural light. I mean, I think 90% of my videos are natural, under natural light, or even more than that. But um, today we have a few clouds going over the sun so it's kind of the sun's coming in and out from the sky <laughs> um, next we have juniper which I think I did swatch in a previous video in my uh, Granito Doro uh, palette oh yes it's the one that looks black in mass tone yes <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I love this color. This is PR146 plus PB29 plus pigments that weren't... At, it just said pigments, basically, on the, um, the little half pen sleeve. So it's a mystery but I do not mind mysterious colors. Let's just add a little bit of water to dilute it. Yes, so, so pretty, so pretty. Okay, so the next one is Cold Forest, which I believe I did swatch in my last video. Right. So Cold Forest. Yeah, very dark and mass tone. Lovely color lovely lovely color 
Now I have two and I do not mind at all because I've been using this quite a bit. I'll have one as backup because, um, yeah, I love this colour and the juniper very much. Look at that, that's beautiful. So beautiful. And the pigment numbers in this, I don't think I mentioned them, are PB29 plus PG7 plus um, pigments that are unknown. They weren't on the, um, the little sleeve again, the little half, half pan sleeve. Next we have Indigo Maya Blue, which is PB60. So single pigment color oh yes that's pretty that's very pretty that is so lovely that's very very nice Let's um, dilute that. That's granulating so lovely. In such a lovely way, I mean. Lovely. Yeah. I get more excited with these colors than the reds and the yellows. Um, once we get into the violets, the blues the um the greens and the especially the earth colors i just you know <laughs> get really excited so the next color is blue capri which is pb29 um try and do mass tone first Ooh. Wow. For a PB29, that is quite vibrant. I wonder if it's going to stay like that when it dries. That is beautiful. It's vibrant, but not in a loud way. It's just lovely. Or am I biased when it comes to blues? I could be a little bit yes but my yeah I'm trying to straight out this circle but no it does not want to do it okay and let's dilute this beautiful blue oh that is just it's almost like the sky outside at the moment <laughs> It's the same colour. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful sky colour. A natural sky colour. Okay, um, Indigo Maya Clay is up next. It's, I think I have um, swatched this again in my... Granito Doro palette, I think. This is a, a mix. It's PB60 and PY43. Yeah, yes, I have swatched it, I think. Otherwise, it's a very similar color. Yeah. Lovely, lovely indigo. But not a true indigo it's an indigo hue so um it's pb16 py43 lovely lovely and dilute that
yes, very pretty. Very ethereal when diluted. Right, next we have Antique Ultramarine Blue, which is again PB29, but it looks so different on the palette. And this is this is so interesting when you get the same pigment but it's totally different colours. It's that's why when you buy like the um, a color that has the same pigment from one brand and then you buy it from another and it's got the same pigment and and it isn't the same. It's 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 no 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 surprise because that's it's what they do with the pigment. It's what the uh, the color makers do with the pigment. Yes, found the words eventually. As beautiful, it's much warmer, much darker than the blue Capri. I'll dilute that. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. And finally, we have the Blue Ercolano, I hope I pronounced that correctly, which is PB15 column 3, which is going to be a phthalo, I believe. So I think it's the first phthalo. I've seen it in mixes, the PG7 here, which is a green phthalo, but I think the first standalone phthalo that we're coming across. Whoa, yes, vibrant, very, very vibrant, but again, not very loud. And I always, when I, when I start painting with phthalos, I'm always worried that they're going to be a bit too loud on the paper. For me, I mean, totally personal preference, it's just that I prefer them the colours to be a little bit more grounded and this one's nice though this one's not loud at all very nice soft blue and diluted and okay that, that almost looks like it's granulating which is kind of strange for a phthalo but very welcome There we go. Yes, it, it does look like it's granulating. Okay, so those are our colours. Look at the blues. Whoa, I mean, they're beautiful. Um, I'll just move everything around a bit. So that you can see the whole palette, well not the whole palette, one third of our palette because I'll be doing two more videos with 16 each of the colours. They are lovely, very very lovely colours. Uh, my favourite if I had to choose would be the Madeleine Lake Light, I like that, I love this colour so much. But again, I'm biased because I love warm reds. Um, the Naples Yellow PY53 is really nice. And I like that it's a single pigment. Um, I love the... I mean, these I love. I have loved. They're in my, in my palette already. Because I have them. I do love them. And this is granulating so beautifully. This Violet Ultramarine is so nice. So pretty. Oh, it's, it's powdery and gentle and oh, it's so nice. And um, yeah, the blue Capri's dreamy, the antique ultramarine. I can see why they, they called it antique ultramarine. It's just how an ultramarine, I guess, would have been. 
it was a lapis um, the blue Ercolano which is granulating <laughs> which, is, which is strange but I love it I love it I think it is is it my eyesight I think it is granulating it could be my eyesight don't don't mind me anyway these are the colors that we swatched today and next time I will be swatching I'll begin swatching the greens and then I'll be moving into the earths I think yes from what I can see on the palette oh I was going to show you the palette after I've opened it you can see here I've just left a space here so that I knew where to stop so <laughs> okay those are the colors that we we did today we swatched today um, okay so that is our video for today I hope you liked it I have so many videos coming up it's been so, so busy and I've had so many things arriving that I want to swatch for you and I'm really excited and I'm trying to take it day by day and see what I can do every day um, so I don't exhaust myself but <laughs> I'm so excited because I, um, when I swatch things with you it's it's a double joy for me because it's the first time that I actually get to see the colors but it's also really lovely to be able to to share this with you or to, to share the colors and the, with you all it, it it really does make my week um so yes i have a lot to share with you um oh before i forget uh just a little reminder that i will leave the code for 35 percent off this palette from essay's official website official store so it's limited to the first 20 people that purchase the palette. So, um, okay. I want to thank Inga so much for um, for everything, for the discounts to me and to the discounts to you and for being so lovely over the emails and so helpful. Um, okay, so I will leave you here. Oh, yes, need to say my awkward bit. Okay, so... If you like this video, please hit the like button because that really helps the video's visibility. Um, if you would like to see more videos from me, um, please subscribe and hit the notification button so YouTube can alert you to my, uh, my next upload, my next video upload. If you would like to leave a comment, I love your comments so much. Um, I do try to answer as many as I can. It's been very, very busy. I'm still catching up. <laughs> Sorry. But I do, do love uh, reading your comments. Um, and I hope to uh, see you all very, very soon. Um, I'll say goodbye here. And sending you all my love and my gratitude. Thank you for being here with me. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.